Walter Klondike here, and we interrupt our regularly scheduled programming to bring you this breaking news. We've received several calls over the past year or so about loud booms being heard throughout the area. While we are not sure where these booms were coming from, we think we finally located the source. Let's go now to our correspondent, Whitley Garrison, to find out more. Uh, Whitley, it's great to hear that we now know the source of all these spontaneous booms. Uh, can you share any information with us? Yes, Walter, you're absolutely correct. The station has been riddled with calls about several loud noises that have been heard in the area recently. Initially, we were unsure of the source. We now know where it all is coming from. Here's what we know. Over the past seven years, Ascension Parish has seen growth in industry expansion and addition. In that time, according to the Ascension Economic Development Corporation, over 2,500 jobs have been created in the parish. Now that represents one of the booms we heard when this all first started. The three big booms we've heard over the last year started here at River Parish's Community College. Here's how it all unfolds. The first boom took place almost one year ago when River Parish's Community College broke ground on their brand new 81,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility. This facility will be used to house transfer programming and administrative offices. This groundbreaking brought hundreds together from the community to witness the great change that was taking place in Ascension Parish. This brings us to boom number two. In 2013, RPCC Foundation launched a capital campaign to raise funds to help build a brand new advanced technology center. The funds raised will be in addition to the $8.1 million allocated through SB204. This facility will be used to house all technical programming that will help produce well-qualified, highly skilled workers for the region's workforce. Transition, we're told, was definitely boom number three. In 2013, two of RPCC's patriarchs retired. Drs. Joe Ben Welch and Bill Martin started this school about 15 years ago on a wing, a prayer, and a shoestring. They were definitely having classes in churches, fire stations, and anywhere else they could find free space. They only had about 100 students to start with, but with hard work and dedication, they helped to grow RPCC to over 3,500 students. Now, as they exited, new leadership entered, Dr. Dale Doty. Dr. Doty came to RPCC with extensive experience in academic, technical, and business in industry fields. He's excited to help RPCC continue to grow and build lifelong relationships with the people of their community. And there you have it, Walter. That is the source of all the loud booms we've heard over the past year. And according to everyone here, the best is yet to come. Oops, they're at it again. Reporting live from WRPCC, I'm Whitley Garrison.